welcome back to the channel everyone thank you very much for tuning in uh big up yourself all my viewers and subscribers for tuning in to another video as we always often ask you to do is to like the video share the content subscribe to the channel if you're new so that you can become a part of the coach's desk family so we have some bit, bit of bad news for you my people because uh ronald levy facing possible four-year ban following adverse jog finding so the situation is that people uh we heard the news that he was tested positive for a banned substance and ronald levy came out and he actually was defending himself that he actually didn't know what transpired um my sources are indicating that it was a situation where he had a particular illness and he was being treated so i'm not certain what will come out of that situation but he has to go through the process of hearing and so forth for them to hear his case to see if that is so so it doesn't look good for him right now as it stands where this uh, situation is con a concern because we understand that his b sample was tested positive as well and like we often say, the B sample normally 90% of the time comes back as negative as well. So this is what is reported in the media uh, from a very reputable source where the situation is concerned. So the Tokyo 2020 Olympic 110 meter hurdles bronze medalist Ronald Levy could miss next summer's Paris Olympics as well as the next two World Athletics Championships in 2025 and 2027 during a possible four-year ban. So that is the projection for Ronald Levy where the ban is concerned uh, because he might face a maximum of four years. And with where it stands, it might be a situation where Ronald Levy probably could have called it an end to his career. Uh, we look at the situation with Christopher Taylor and he's really frustrated at this time and he, he's frustrated to the, for the uh, point where he said end of an era and that is indicating that he might not continue uh, to do track and field uh, when the ban expire. But I trust that persons will convince him to continue because to see a talent like that not progressing or not continuing it is really sad now the situation with ronald levy let's get back on track is that after returning an adverse analytical finding for two band jugs uh it has been indicated that the gw501516 sulfoxide and GW501516 sulfone. These are the two band drugs that were found in his sample. So basically, Ronald Levy basically, you know, tried to clear his name after he made a post on uh, the situation. And he tried to ensure that he, he indicate the fund that you know this is not so because i am clean and so such and such and such a yada 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 you understand no his samples his sample was analyzed by a water accredited laboratory in quebec canada last month and these are the two substances that were found uh the drug is non-specified substance prohibited at all times. According to AIU, the period of ineligibility is usually a period of four years unless the athlete demonstrates that the anti-doping violations were not intentional. You know what I mean? So that is the situation with Ronald Levy. Um, I mean... It is, it is, it is sad. It is sad for him right now. You know what I mean? But let's see what will come out of this, 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 this situation, um, my people. 
because you, you don't want a situation where where the athletes you know the athlete um in 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 some sort of situation uh he definitely has to prove because like i said the b sample has returned positive you know what i mean it has returned positive and uh, i already explained the, the possibility of a, a four-year ban it it is it is it is it is a sad sad time in 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 Levy's career and in Jamaica sport so basically he has to go through the process of a hearing to see what can come out of this situation you understand so let's hope Ronald can get a very good sports lawyer on this matter and clear himself up because as it stands <laughs> it is always always a, a, a tough ask you know these athletes put a lot into their career and it, it is so interesting that they have to ensure and that's why sports ensure that persons are very disciplined because you want to ensure that you put together things or a situation where you are so disciplined that you ensure that you are very careful and mindful of what you put into your body because even medication can cause you to to to, to be in a in a in a spot of bother i can remember when um Shelly and Fraser Price also was 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 having some some situation because of the braces that she had in and she took a painkiller boom they found a banned substance and uh, I mean given the circumstance she she got a slap on the wrist which was very good but I mean if 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 Ronald can prove because based off what I'm hearing is that he had a situation so if he can prove beyond reasonable doubt that that is so then we could very well see him get off this one as scratch free as possible <laughs> you know what i mean so let's see uh we, we we wish his legal team all the best in putting his case together and see what they can come out with in this scenario but the possibility of the, of a four-year ban looms for uh Ronald Levy. Share your thoughts on this one, my people. Until next time, stay safe.